Hey, what's up guys? I'm Henry. Today I'll talk about the Huawei P20 Pro. A beautiful design. I really love the build of this and the screen. It's a big screen. 40 megapixel camera. I'll go for a short walk through on this P20 Pro and I'm sure you're gonna like it. Alright, we start with build quality. This is the first topic I want to discuss on the Huawei P20 Pro. The build quality on this phone is truly remarkable. You will do nothing but just love it. The glass in back is made of high quality glass and it takes no fingerprints, at least this midnight blue color my friend got. Very nice glass. The front glass is strong as well, according to Jerry Rig, where you can watch his scratching test on this channel. The frame is aluminum and feels solid. It is sealed from water and dust proof with IP67. I would rate the build quality 5 out of 5. Display and the screen. The screen is 6.1 inches big and has a nice resolution of 1080 by 2240, followed by a pixel density of 408. The display is super AMOLED and is pretty vibrant, as you can see. In the sun it is nice to read, I would rate the screen 4 out of 5 just because of its top area where front camera is located. It looks like a home button and at times you get confused when you take it out of your pocket, you may press it like it's a home button because it looks like the previous home buttons Samsung and other devices used to make. Performance this sector is very important for some and for me as well. The Huawei P20 Pro comes in two versions, 128 gigs with 6 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte with 8 gigs of RAM. The one I'm handing is 128 gigabyte with 6 gigabyte of RAM. The beast is very fast, snappy and doesn't lag. Multitasking is great, you can leave programs open and return and continue where you left. One thing I don't like about it though is the touch screen. The touch screen lacks the performance I'm used to my iPhone. At times it is not responsive, you need to press twice or press harder. Because of this I would give to the performance 3.5 stars out of 5. Because to me the touch is very important. Camera. This is maybe my favorite zone when looking for a smartphone. The back is compiled of three camera lenses. One lens shoots 40 megapixel at f1.8, another one shoots 20 megapixel black and white pictures at f1.6, very large apertures, and the last one shoots 8 megapixel at 2.4 with 80 mm range, which is to magnify or use it to reach long distance subjects. Yes, it has a 40 megapixel sensor and you can zoom without losing much quality, or you can use a 10 megapixel resolution option and zoom up to 5 times with optical zoom without losing much quality, but in the end the sensor of the camera is what makes the difference. Here is an example with very good light and this is a 40 megapixel picture taken. Now don't take me wrong, it looks clear, but even if I would take on this with my iPhone, it would look kind of the same, I guess. The camera app does have a lot of options such as live mode, night mode, modify color room for standard to vivid and smooth colors. I recommend standard though. The portrait feature of the Huawei P20 Pro shoots at with a large aperture at f1.8, but I think it still needs to improve. The blurry background looks not authentic though it's set to normal. And the colors in general are not what I expect from a camera. Its video capabilities though range from 720p at 960fps to 4K at 30fps. The stabilization is so much better at 1080 30fps. This is what I would recommend. Here is a comparison between the 1080 and 4K at 30fps. Here you will see a shift from walking to running. The selfie camera is a 24 megapixel one and it looks sharp in theory, but in practice it doesn't amaze me at all. I mean, look at it, you can decide yourself. Slow motion 1080p at 120fps looks good, not so focused though. I would give this camera a rating of 3.5 out of 5 because it lacks stabilization in 4K and because it has higher vibrancy levels on its color from what I need and the blurring isn't quite genuine. Battery. Okay, the battery of this phone lasts long. It's a great battery device, it lasts up to two days. You can use it heavily 
in your tasks for a day and it will give you what you want without worrying much about battery life. By the way, it is equipped by a 1400 mAh battery capacity and in 30 minutes you can charge it up to 58% with fast charging. About the pricing point, you can find it on Amazon for $660. And that's about it guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if so give it a thumbs up, it always does help a lot and also subscribe to my channel for more tech stuff. So I'm Henry, have a good one, bye bye.